God damn, that's bright. What's up, y'all? Gunny back yet again. Uh, not entirely sure if y'all can hear me, but I'll do it again if I have to. Ugh. Can't fucking see the chew. about probably 3.45, 4 a.m. And I'm still awake. There's something wrong here. Because if it's 4 in the morning, I got 12 hours until I got to be at work. Fucking sucks. God damn it. The light's fucking bright. Oh. Ugh. Dipping on some Grizz Mint. Yeah. One, I don't have this in my room. <clears throat> I got this. Oh, this is nasty. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was bored, couldn't fall asleep, so I figured I'd make a video. Just watched, uh, Dip and Daisy's video. Well, she had to change channels and all that shit. And, you know, some people are just dicks. I mean, I subscribed to her new channel and all that shit and saw her video on why she had to change channels. Uh, I think it's the new channel is Daisy Move Doe. D-O-E. I don't know why. I don't remember, at least. <laughs> but she had to change channels because a bunch of people at her school watched her videos and put them up on, like, the big screens in front of the room so everybody could see, including her teacher. And, you know, that's not right. I mean, come on. Because now she's getting bitched at at school by her teachers and shit about the shit she's posted on there and uh, shit she's posted on her Instagram. But, you know, I mean, come on. That That's, that's not right. I mean, I went through the same thing when I started doing my videos. I mean, yeah, I'm a guy, so it's different, but... Haters are all the same. They're, they're gonna hate. Most of them are probably jealous that they didn't think of doing this first. Like, doing videos on, on YouTube first, but... You know, fuck it. I mean, come on. Whew. <sighs> But, you know, I mean, she's doing good, she's got a, she's just starting out, so she's going to run into a few complications here and there in the beginning. I'm pretty sure we all did. I know I did. I got picked on at school, I got bitched at by teachers and guidance counselors. Hell, I even got bitched at by the principal. I know, shocker, right? I, if I remember correctly, my principal said that I was promoting the use, unsafe use of a smokeless tobacco product. I believe those were his exact words. And I looked right back at him and said, you know what? I'm not promoting anything. I'm just going on YouTube with a dip in my lip saying why I love it talking about shit that goes on in my life 
and just having a good old time on it. You know, goofing off, hanging out. A couple of my videos, I've had friends in it, you know. And then I probably shouldn't have said this, but I, I wasn't very happy. <laughs> of course, it was my last day at school that year, so I, I looked right at him. I said, you know what? If you think I'm promoting smokeless tobacco products, it has nothing to do with school, so therefore you have no control over it. So, fuck you, have a nice day. And I pulled my tin out right then and there, threw a lip in, and walked out. That's all you gotta do. If people get in your face about chewing and doing YouTube videos and shit about it, here's a surefire way to piss them off. And to make you feel good about yourself. You pull out your tin. Well, you're going to need three things. You need a tin. A spitter. And, uh, well, the attitude of, I don't give a fuck. Step one. Pull out your tin. Pop in a lip. Step two. Spit in your mud dirt. Step three. Tell them to fuck themselves, and to have a nice day, and uh, stay the fuck out of your business, and walk away. That's all you gotta do. Work for me. Until the following semester when I had to go back. <laughs> yeah, he kind of held a grudge. My principal, that is. I mean, it's not like I was doing it on campus. I mean, if I had lunch, I'd go out to my truck, and yeah, I'd pack one there, but it's not like I was doing it in class or in the hallways or something. I mean, I respected the no tobacco-free zone. I went out to my truck, which is my private property, sat in it, packed a lip. Or I'd drive, you know, off campus about 200 yards down the road to the fucking hockey arena. Throwing a lip, keep an eye on the time, head back with just a few minutes left, pull in, sit there for the rest of the, for like five minutes for the rest of the period, then I take my dip out, go inside, go to my next class. Hockey season, I had a dip in practically every day, in the locker room, don't really, I don't, no, I never did it on the ice. Probably should have tried that, but I didn't have the. I didn't think of it back then. On the bus rides to the games, bus rides home from the games. Pretty much, if I could get away with it, I did it. If I got a game suspension or I was out because I was injured or on academic eligibility, which is a fancy term for saying my grades sucked. So they wouldn't let me play. And I'd sat up, sit up in the stands. I'd pick a dip right up in the stands to watch the game. But the moral of the story is, no matter what you do, whether it be dipping, smoking, drinking, driving a truck, driving a car, Drive a four wheeler, like to go hunting, like to go fishing, paintballing, dirt biking, horseback riding, anything. There's always going to be a hater out there, and they're always going to hate. You can't change it. Yeah, sometimes you can change the perspective of one or two of them, but in all, all in the end, haters going to hate. That that's bottom line. There's no way to get around it. There's really nothing you can do. Oh, Dreamcatcher. Pictured my grandfather up there on the wall. I don't know if you saw it or not. I mean, I can't fucking tell until I do it. watch the video, but. You know, it. I'm 
Sorry, spaced out. <laughs> Trying to figure out what the hell that was on my floor. No. A hunt pants. Never mind. I'm like, why the hell do I have leaves in my room? But, uh, yeah. On the uh, note of spitter problem. That's when before I got my mud jugs. This is the only one that's up there since I've gotten a mud jug. And this has probably been up there for maybe a month. And I've emptied it twice. Because let's put it this way. When I can't sleep, <clears throat> I get up, grab my tin, grab my phone, watch YouTube, Netflix, scroll around on Facebook. You know, that's what I do when I pack a lip. Until I get to the point where I'm too tired to do anything and I finally fall asleep. But I don't recommend falling asleep with a dip in. That's not. Still can't tell if y'all can see me or not. I'm probably like cut off from my head up. Right now I don't care. If all else fails I'll just redo the video tomorrow I can actually see myself. Uh. But in my uh I'm not sure if it was my last video. No, it was the video Bad Day Kinda. I think, I think that was my video that I, I'm thinking of. I'm not sure. I might have mentioned this in both of them, but... Broke up with my girlfriend. And... The shitty part is... I think she's... Uh, got the hots for one of my buddies from the college. But, you know... It's... <laughs> all the power to him. He could probably treat her better than I did. I mean, I never had time for her, so... You know... It... As long as she's happy, I'm happy, alright? But, uh... Probably gonna make a res trip this Friday. It's... Well, that's tomorrow. Seems like it's 4 in the morning. But I'll catch y'all later. Hmm. Almost forgot. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking a rest trip on Friday with my buddy Zach. Um, just thought I'd mention that part. Semper Fi. Get her done. Y'all have a nice day. Keep on spinning that black tar. Get yourself a mud jug. If you ain't got one, get one. If you already got one, get another one. Greatest thing in the world. And I'll catch y'all next time.